Boom. Miko. So, wow. Wow. So he put himself at like 45 feet, like somewhere yeah. not even close to the basket, and then cash his par putt. Oh, oh my word, that was so beautiful. He was I'm, just gliding it. I'm not believing what I'm seeing right now. That was a, a wind coming from the right side to the left just makes that putt so hard. He glided it right into the basket. 230 meters in this much downhill might even be gettable. As crazy as it sounds, but I would love to see that. Oh my gosh. And this too, this is having like super late turn. Yeah, they're it's... handling the angle so well. Everything, the angle, the wind, those are the championship height. level drives. The height, yeah, this is crazy. Bingo! <laughs> he wanted that so bad. Birdie, 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 eagle, <laughs> for him for the last four holes. What a putt. That's probably the best view of any disc golf tournament this year. It has to be. That is so beautiful. Unreal. Here we go on hole three. Looks like a short uphill par three. Straight shot to the rocks. Try to push your disc into the rocks maybe. Or maybe try to ace run it. You got a backstop behind it as well. So Beautiful green. Yeah. I think uh, sidearm might also... Also, or, or sidearm might be the play for this, so it kind of looks like it because of the hillside. Yeah. But uh, Bloma shows that the putter backhand works just fine. Or maybe it's just straight uphill because it kind of seemed to me like it was side hill. I think, it, I think you're right. I think it would play to the sidearm just a little bit better, but it's so short that most yeah. of these guys can just zip a putter up there. You also have those two guardian trees True. guarding that sidearm skip ace. He catches one of the guardian trees, that's just going to make him earn it. Wow. Really good stuff. Probably circle's edge up the hill. Really nice birdie putt. Walmas sneak, sneaking it in there for his birdie as well. I would imagine this is one of the more easy birdies on the course. I would think so, yeah. It doesn't seem too difficult. and I mean, it's a star frame for these guys, so that already tells. Yep. Well done. This golf in Finland is getting pretty high quality. Yeah. This, these kids are so it. I think the oldest guy of these is not even 20 years old. That's insane. A lot of young talent around there. It's really incredible. Another long uh, par three uphill. <coughs> this might be, oh, it's a par four, actually. It's just uh, 142 meters, though. This but, is extremely uphill. Yeah, that the uphill definitely makes it a par four. That was really good. I, he got almost all the way to the mouth, and I think he should be able to manage to find a gap from there. Yeah. I don't know. I, I actually don't know what the, the gap looks like, but I, I'm curious to see what they're looking at for I their second Mika shot. I think Mika landed right around where it almost did. Yeah. I think this is the play though. There it is. Rather yeah. be slightly to the left of the tree line so you don't have the trees to play with for your second shot. This might be a little bit low. Yeah, it was. Oh, but he's, he has this hyzer gap now opened up for him. Okay, cool. Nice play. I like how that worked out for him. That might be a play for shorter arms, actually. Yeah, definitely. Nicely done. Someone with his A2 flicking it up to the basket. It's 
So it's a very eagle bow hole, it seems like, because these guys are almost in putting range. Not that they have any gaps to go for it, really. But uh, if you got lucky, you could probably get through the trees. See, sorry, <laughs> we're seeing some executed birdies on this hole. It doesn't seem too hard of a hole, especially for the crushers that can just mash it up there all the way and then jump putt over. Definitely, yeah. Another little bit easier hole for sure. All right, hole 12, 70 meters. Oh yeah, this is the island hole. I saw some videos on Instagram of this hole. Cool. Island holes are always interesting. Yeah, downhill 230 feet. It's really short. Sneaking in there. Ground play got him there. Yeah, he's just trying to throw a putter straight at it. Try to play the hillside. Which he does just perfectly. A stable disc working really well for Tuomas. Pretty much picture perfect. Another solid shot. I'm seeing maybe, I'm wondering what kind of wind they're dealing with. Those flags are looking like kind of right to left. Yeah. But that's surprising. It kind of seems like that wind has actually calmed down a little bit too. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Doesn't seem as severe as before. Well executed birdie from Samuel. Great putt, Nico. And everybody except Jonas getting on the board with a birdie here. Uh, Jonas actually did get a birdie. That's what yeah, I thought. Okay, yeah, so everybody yeah. got a birdie here. Yeah, he uh, yeah he got a birdie uh, through his PA1. I know that because he has that tie-dye uh, PA1 in his bag. Yeah. Flies funny. Or it looks funny when it flies. <laughs> oh, that's, I love discs like that. Looks cool in there. Hole 13, downhill part 323 meters. Just the hyzer for these guys, it seems like. Someone does it just fine right inside the circle. That was beautifully played. Playing left side so that it kind of has some ground play towards the basket. I like it. Same thing there with Toymas, that's a great shot. Parking the hole. Mikael is maybe a little bit to the left. He seems like he maybe slipped or something because he was looking down after the shot in his feet. He was maybe, but safe, right? Yeah, that's safe and he's still circle's edge or right outside the circle. Cool, no harm done. Park job. It's a f quite a long hole. 123 meters is no joke. What a putt! He's on fire with the putter. All these guys are. Yeah, it really is impressive to see. Young guys, good at, good at putting. That's always impressive. Okay, so this is two star frames in a row, right? Yeah, it is. That's awesome. And it's, when, when they are putting good and they're like feeding it off of each other, they have really that good putting flow in the whole court, like right now. Yeah. They all make it seem easy for each other, and that's that's really awesome. That's ideal. Now going back uphill, 65 meters. Looks like there's kind of a backstop. This is seeming like pretty gettable hole. I wonder if we could get another star frame. Ideal for sidearm. Backhand putter also plays our mid-range, but so far so good. Samuel pretty much parks it to about 5 meters. Must have, must have. 
Oh my god. That was close. Almost like, seemed like it even hit the gauge. That was a ace run for sure. That's another park job coming in. <laughs> One more. Get right. That's gonna be parked. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Furthest person's five meters. Nice. Star frame. Third one in a row. It's nice to see also that they're not only good at throwing backhand and putting, but also good at sidearm. Yeah, it's important to have all the shots. Makes this hole very easy for them every time they play it. Good stuff. That's awesome. Everybody with three birdies in a row. That's pretty cool. I mean, I, that doesn't happen very often at all to get three star frames in a row. Absolutely not. It's super rare.